you guys this is Arlene just a really quick video I gave you guys a sneak peek of my latest creeper crew project and I finished her up and I wanted to share her with you so this right here is Sasha and I shared her on a video and on my blog and Facebook the other day this one is Leslie I had a ton of fun creating her and I used graphic 45 steampunk debutante paper to paper piece her. Basically what paper piecing is, is you stamp the image onto the designer paper and you cut it out and layer it on top of a stamped image. Which is really cool because it saves you from a lot of uh, coloring if you don't really feel like coloring. But I did color her face, her hair, um, her long sleeve shirt, and her shoes, but her shoes got cut off because she didn't fit all the way on the frame. And um, yeah, the Graphic 45 paper collection is just awesome. I love it. And it's steampunk, so I put some gears on here. And these little shiny things, I am so in love with these. I learned about these from a long time ago, a tag swap, and Olga had sent me some in a rack. And I just discovered when I went to Michael's today that these are, um, they're either on clearance or on sale, but they were only 49 cents each. And I love it because there's a ton of it on there and it gives you bling without the dimension of bling. I hope that makes sense because these are like flat um, rhinestone looking stickers. They're really cool. And so you can add them in different places. Like I added them here in the ladies, uh, in the gears in the ladies hair. And I added it here on my seven gypsies gear. And then on the butterflies, you can see I added it there and then on the gear on her hat and I also put some where her bows are on her hair. Now for her hair, um, I did a new combination of colors for her blonde hair. Let me just grab it right here. I have it right next to me. So I started off with YR23. I always start off with the darker color. So I started off with YR23 and then I went in with YR21 and then I went to Y21 and then YR30. I don't know if you guys can see all of those colors, but those are the four colors that I use to color up her hair. And there she is. And then for her skin, I actually used a different combination of colors too. I used E50, E51, and E21. I didn't have it over here, but um, E51, E50, and E21. E21 is what I use to create the darker shade around the hairline to create the shadow and then I used E51 to blend it in and then E50 throughout the face and then R20, um, R20 for the blush. And then for her eyes, I used Jade Green. I believe it's Jade Green. Yep, I'm pretty sure it was Jade Green um, to color in her pupils so that she has green eyes to match her outfit. So anyways, that's my project, you guys. Um, I Am Rose's uh, Cherry Blossoms. I actually sprayed these down with my Starburst stains, where is it? I use the creme brulee cream, and it's really cool because you can get that shimmer without um, a lot of color, which I really like. Cut out the butterflies from the paper collection. Oh, and this is one of those dollar Michael frames again, trying to <laughs> use up my stash. And what I did is just distress it with antique uh, rub and buff again. It used to be just a plain white frame, and I wanted to give it a little bit of a distressed look. So that is my Leslie from the Creeper Crew Collection 1, and then there's Sasha. One more thing I wanted to share with you guys. Um, just a couple things. Let me, first, let me show you my new Copic Marker color chart. Now, this is the color chart for 2011. Um, it didn't have a lot of the quadruple zero colors on the older chart, so I moved all of my colors onto this new chart. As you can see, the way that I marked where I have chow markers, I just put like a little C next to there. Well, the little circle, um, over here. So my, some of my ink splattered on here, but on the chow, it'll have a little circle next to it. But it's so tiny that even if I mark it, I probably wouldn't tell. <laughs> so I just put a big C next to the color. So that tells me that I have that particular marker in a chow marker because most of my markers are sketch. And so if I have the C next to it, I know to look for, you know, obviously um, I'm looking for this kind of pen um, versus this kind. So it just makes it easier for me. And then also this includes the new colors for 2011, which I got 
10 of the 12. I think there's 12, I can't recall. I think there was just the, um, the violet colors that I didn't get, but I got all the other ones. Okay, so color chart, you can download this off Copic, um, copicmarker.com right here. And you wanna print it up on the type of paper that you're gonna be using to color your images, and that way you get a true color um, match on your chart. And then I wanted to show you guys these. So people have been asking me where I get my flat back pearls and I got some in a rack from Rachel a while back and I've been using them like crazy because I just love flat back pearls and I use them in, in all sorts of ways in my projects. But I found these at Michael's and these are by Recollections and they're called mini round gems and they come in different colors but of course I got black and, and cream which is typical of me. But uh, these are basically and it's really cute, it comes like in this little bottle, but these are like little flat back gems and they come in different sizes, as you guys can see. And they're flat back and they're just so pretty, I love them. So this one is the cream one. And then this one, this is kind of like a garnet color. I mean, it's black, but then it has like a little bit, I don't know, in certain angles it looks like it's garnet, but it's black, you guys can see. So there's different sizes. I don't know if I can see if other sizes pop out, but there's like a small, medium, and a large. But super cute, guys, and these are on sale right now. Um, they're normally $3.99 a bottle, and I think they rang up for about $2.20, something like that. So totally worth it. It doesn't say how many um, halfback pearls are on here, but it's almost a full ounce of them. And if you look, there's like, there's pretty much, there's a lot in there. So, um, anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. They're on sale right now, so check it out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.